Steelheads forward Wade McLeod scored four goals in Idaho's last two games against the Utah Grizzlies. He leads the team with 49 points this season. His success is even more impressive considering almost exactly two years ago on Sunday, February 17th, McLeod's career and his life nearly came to an end. It's been a couple years since, uh, since it happened. Penalty is coming up against Adirondack. I got boarded into the glass pretty hard. That's a third boarding penalty in this game. I kind of felt like I was a little woozy. Oh, the Springfield player is hurt. He's down. Our captain at the time, Ryan Craig, came up to me and he said, uh, we're on the power play, Macker. Are you all right? And I was like, I was like, oh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty dizzy. Like, maybe I'm concussed. I don't know. And all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I was staring up at the ceiling and everything went dark. A Springfield player collapsed outside the bench. This looks very bad. They are rushing out a stretcher, and a Springfield player is convulsing on the ice, and oh my goodness. I remember waking up after I had a seizure, and uh, I, saw, I saw my fiance right away, and my mom was on the bench, and I knew it wasn't good. It was definitely terrifying, um, just the whole ordeal, and just the fact that uh, there was that question of never being able to play hockey again. Wade McLeod suffered a seizure and collapsed on the ice. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where doctors discovered he had been playing with a benign brain tumor. He spent the next few weeks bouncing back and forth from Springfield to Boston, meeting with neurosurgeons. Probably a month later, then um, I, I realized that I found the right surgeon and uh, he said that he'd get me back playing hockey again. McLeod underwent surgery to remove the growth in his brain. After a couple weeks off, he began a grueling rehabilitation process. It was pretty slow um, at, and frustrating at times, um, but my fiance, she was, she was amazing and she, um, she kept me going and kept me in the right state of mind. It took six months for McLeod to be cleared to play full contact hockey again, but he never doubted he'd return to the ice. I knew I'd be back and I kept reassuring myself I'd be back one day and um, it's just a hiccup in my career and I knew I'd be back. Once McLeod felt healthy enough to play again, he called in a favor with Toronto Maple Leafs assistant Greg Cronin, who coached Wade in college. McLeod asked for a tryout. McLeod has his helmet off and is trying to get lip on in a headlock. He got his wish with the AHL's Toronto Marlies and made the team out of camp. Last summer, several ECHL squads vied for McLeod's services, but the Steelheads stood out among the rest. Luckily, I chose this team because it's a tremendous group of guys, and not, I can't say enough about the organization. It, it's been really classy, and uh, once again, just a tremendous group of guys. Like, it's fun coming to the rink every day. While his career flourishes in Idaho, McLeod's love life is also blossoming. His fiance, who stuck with him through it all, won't be a fiance for much longer. I'm getting married uh, August 2nd, next, next summer. I owe her that much, and uh, I couldn't have done it without her.